Hi everyone. I finally found the time to just record this message and to share with you something that's been on my heart for a while. But before I do that, I just want to say that we're missing you guys so much and we send all our love and we're praying for you continually. And if there's anything that you want prayer for, then please send us a message and, and we can do that. So I wanted to share something that God's been challenging Amanda and I with uh, over the last few weeks, which is just to continually keep on being grateful for all the things that we have. Um, I want to share two verses with you. So the first verse is Ephesians 5.20, which says, Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the second is 1 Thessalonians 5.16-18, which says, Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Now, Amanda and I, are so grateful to God at the moment. We have so much to be grateful for. We've just moved into a beautiful new home. We've got two wonderful boys, although sometimes they do drive us a little bit insane. Um, we have our health. We have food on the table. Um, but even if a time comes when we don't have everything that we need, we still need that discipline of gratefulness. It's so important. And I know it's not easy at the moment. You just look at the news and it's everything is doom and gloom at the, and it can be really hard. And that's why it's a discipline, because we have to work at it. So by God's grace, uh, the Holy Spirit's going to help us. But I really, I just can't impress on you enough how important it is to keep on being grateful. So why? Why is it important? Well, First of all, we have an amazing God. He's our creator. He's our provider. He's faithful. He's generous. He gives us the things that we need. He walks with us through all the difficulties in our lives. And whatever's happening around us in the world, nothing is going to change that. Uh, the Bible says that every good gift comes from God. So let's face it, he deserves the credit. Um, the third reason why we what we need to continue be continually grateful is perspective so i just think of the story um in the uh in the gospels of peter so he gets out of the boat and he's walking towards jesus and while he's got his eyes fixed on jesus he's doing really well and he's walking on water and it's amazing uh, but the moment he takes his eyes off jesus and starts looking at the waves and the storm around him he starts to sink and his faith falters. Um, being grateful on a daily basis helps us to keep our focus on God and not to be distracted by all the stuff that's going on around us and not to be dragged down, uh, which let's face it, this is what the enemy wants, is for us to be dragged down into despair and to lose our hope. Um, but if we keep on being grateful for the things that we have, then we will speak to our souls and lift ourselves out. Um, the fourth reason is that whatever happens to us now, Christ has won the victory. It's finished, as he said on the cross. And we remember um, during Easter that we had just a couple of weeks ago, uh, just the fact that Jesus has gone to the cross, he's died for us, he's beaten the enemy at his own game, and uh, one day we're going to all go to be with him. And we are going to live in his glorious light and we have that to look forward to. So whatever's going on now, it's a small portion of even of our lives and it's nothing in the terms of the eternity that we're going to spend with God. Um, and finally, there's a real importance of speaking words of life over ourselves. Um, God wants us to be a non-anxious presence. And that's not something that you can manufacture, per se. You can't tell yourself to be joyful and, and non-anxious and, and have no fear and worry. It's something that comes from just spending time with God and being grateful for what we have. Um, but it's interesting that over the last few decades, uh, psychologists, scientists are starting to discover this too. There's been several studies that have been done. Uh, it's called the science of happiness, the science of gratitude. And what they've discovered 
is that um, people who are who find time in their lives to be grateful are happier. <laughs> it's pretty basic, pretty simple, really, but it's true. Um, and they've been doing studies over the last three decades, and everyone says the same thing. So I want to challenge us all to find some time daily to be grateful. Uh, one thing that I've heard recently, which I think might be a really good idea, is to write a, a gratitude journal. Just write things down in in on a daily basis into the journal. Things to be grateful for. Think good things that have happened. Uh, just as you reflect, as God share, speaks in our hearts about stuff, just to focus on that, focus on the positive, and thank him for it, because he's good and he's given it to us. Um, now, I'm sure that there are people watching this video who are really struggling at the moment. My heart goes out to you. Um, it's tough at the moment. I can't deny that. And maybe you don't feel like there's any light at the end of the tunnel and maybe you have no hope at the moment and that's really sad um, but might I suggest that you get in touch with someone from the church someone else in the church and ask them to be thankful on your behalf um, to intercede and to pray with you and to be able to encourage you and lift you up um, and we should be doing that for each other anyway so uh, if you're thinking of if God put somebody in your mind to do that for, then listen to him, get on and do it because it's so important at the moment. Um, so I just want to finish by praying for you all and for me and my family as well. Father God, I thank you for uh, all the times in your scripture, like Psalm 100, where it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise and give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever and his faithfulness continues through all generations. Thank you, Father, for all the good things that you give us. And Holy Spirit, would you come now into your church family and help us to remember and to be grateful for all those things that you've given us all those good things and lord i pray for your blessing over your church family i pray for uh, your provision and for healing and that you would just continue to work holy spirit doing the amazing things that you've done and bringing people to you and bringing healing and working in power Thank you for all of that, Lord. But even if you weren't doing anything, help us to be grateful for the things that we have that you have given us. And Lord, as we are grateful, would you lift up our hearts? Would you help us to fix our eyes on you again? So that whatever the enemy throws at us, we can continue to be grateful and we can win that battle for you, Lord, in our hearts and in our communities and to just bring hope and life and love wherever we go. I pray all of this in Jesus' name and Amen. So thank you everyone and I hope to see you again soon. God bless. There is none, none like